what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install Linux on your jailbroken PS4 5.05 and I will also show you how to run Linux offline in my first video I show how to install it using the URL online but in this video I'll show you how to install it plus run it offline okay we will need the internet on the PS4 only one time only doing this the first time then after you have done it you don't need the internet to load up Linux afterwards alright so guys keep in mind that you will need a USB mouse a USB keyboard a USB hub and you will need your PS4 controller connected to the PS4 with the USB cable also the hard drive that I'm using is a 250 gig portable hard drive 3.0 using a 3.0 um, hard drive I would re recommend using that instead of using a USB stick a USB stick won't really work that properly okay and I've also noticed that a 2.0 USB stick or hard drive doesn't work that well a 3.0 works a lot better all right so let's go ahead and get started so guys right here I have my files that I'm gonna transfer over to my portable hard drive so I'm gonna transfer over these three files but before doing this you will need to format your hard drive and right here is my portable hard drive um, if I click on it it will say um, NTFS and as you can see it's a 250 gig hard drive so we will need to format this to FAT32 all the links for these files will be in the description alright so I'm just gonna right click and open this and from right here you wanna choose your hard drive so again guys this is mine right here as you can see it says um, the, the drive letter is G so I'm just gonna go ahead and search for the G so right here go all the way down to G and this is G make sure that you guys select the right hard drive okay if you select the wrong hard drive this will erase everything on that hard drive so right here it shows Linux PS4 and down here it shows Linux PS4 G so as you guys can see I selected the right hard drive so I'm just gonna press start press OK alright so my hard drive just finished um, formatting so if I right click on it now press properties you can see that it says FAT32 so I'm just gonna go inside that and then I'm gonna copy these three files and I'm gonna paste it on the USB not the USB the hard drive okay so once the files are copied over to my portable hard drive right here just gonna go ahead and eject it and let's head over to the PS4 okay so now that we're on the PS4 guys I have plugged my portable hard drive in the left USB port on the PS4 and my USB hub is connected to the right port with my mouse my controller and my keyboard connected to the hub okay so you wanna go up and go over to um, settings guys keep in mind that you should um, go to sound and screen go to video output uh, mine is at my resolution is at 1080p so this helps as well also go down to your power save settings go in the rest mode make sure that all of these are turned off you don't want your system to automatically update also go to system automatic download make sure that these are turned off all right so once you have all of those settings go up to network I'm just gonna select connect to internet go down to setup internet connection Wi-Fi custom go ahead and log into your internet add put in your credential and all of that press OK press X 
press X again. Now when you get to DNS settings, use manual and make sure that you set your primary DNS the, to, to that and make sure that you set your secondary DNS to the same exact thing. So you guys can pause the video and make sure that you guys set the same exact thing right here. Okay. Once you have those set, go ahead and press next. Press X again, X again, and that's it. We can now press circle, circle again, go all the way up to user guide, user guide again, and then you're going to get to this page. Okay, so what we need to do from right here is go to cache, and this will cache all these um, categories to the PS4. So we don't need the internet after we cache it, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and click cache all. And down at the bottom, you can see that it's downloading. Okay, so as you, as you just saw that message, it says cache successfully. So we can press the PS4 home button, go back up, go to system, settings go back down to network we can now uncheck the internet go back out go all the way back up to user guide user guide again okay so let's go ahead and choose our firmware so i'm using 5.05 .05, so just press x and we have the linux loader here the linux loader vram 3 the Linux loader VRAM 1. So we're going to use the Linux loader. So press X. It's going to say fail, but just wait and give it time. There you go. It says done. Okay. So as you can see, we got the option to type a command. So you guys need to type this exact same command. So E X E C space install dash psx ita and after that you want to type rch full stop sh then press enter on your keyboard and just give it time on let it install Okay guys, so now we have a, another command line we should type in. So make sure that you guys type the same exact thing. So exec space start dash psx ita and you want to do the same thing r c h full stop s h so you guys you guys should have the same exact thing so press enter on your keyboard and there you go linux loads up perfectly nice um remember when you when you when you run linux on the ps4 for the first time you need to refresh the menu down here. Okay, and now as you guys can see, we now have a full menu. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna reset the PS3 and we're gonna load up Linux again, but we're gonna use the VRAM 3 loader instead because we will need to add more um, VRAM to Linux so the games work perfectly on the Linux OS okay so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go to return to Arbis OS and this will reboot the PS3 so let's click it okay guys so I still have everything connected to the PS4 so let's go back over to settings and let me show you guys inside network that my internet is not connected gonna go up to user guide user guide again and I'm gonna go over to my firmware 5.05 .05, 
and we are going to use Linux Loader VRAM 3 to allow more RAMs for the games to work better. So press X. It's going to say fail, but just give it time for it to say done. And there it is. So just give it time for the Linux to load up. We don't need to type any more commands because that was installing it the first time. Now we're just loading it with the VRAM 3. So just give it time. Okay, so we now have Linux load up again on the PS4. As you guys saw, my internet was off and it still loads up. So go to the menu icon and remember to refresh this menu. Now if you go back, you can see that we now have um, games, graphics, and all of those things to use. Okay, so guys, that's how you install it and use it offline. So guys, if the video was helpful, please give it a like. Also share the video around and also subscribe for more video to come. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in my next video.